Welcome to a brand new series where I will be analyzing what each NBA team needs for the upcoming draft, starting off with the Atlanta Hawks. In round one, their pick is currently unknown due to the draft lottery situation and the fact that they want to resume the season but may not be able to. People don't know what the finishing records are going to be and the draft lottery is postponed because of that. However, in the first round, the Atlanta Hawks need a scorer. The Atlanta Hawks are projected to have somewhere around the fifth pick. And with the fifth pick, I think they should select, if he's there, Avi Toppin. It's my obvious number one choice for the Atlanta Hawks to take with their first draft selection. Avi Toppin has been in multiple videos of mine and I've often touted him as the best NBA prospect coming out this year. He's 6'9", averaged 20 points a game, 7.5 rebounds on 63% shooting. This is a guy that the Hawks just need. They really struggled to have any offense outside of Trey Young. They really like athletic guys. He would fit a position that they don't currently have at, at small forward, which, you know, they just drafted DeAndre Hunter, but he sucks. He's just god awful. Abi Toppin is a fantastic replacement. It would create sort of a lob city system with Trey Young throwing to John Collins, Abi Toppin, and Clint Capella. I mean, they would be unstoppable in the paint. No more playing small ball. The Hawks would be able to finish in the paint no matter which player got the ball. Toppin's combination of shooting, athleticism, defense, and speed is truly just unrivaled in this entire class. He's the most polished player. He's a senior, which means he has confidence. He is just the best prospect in my mind, and there is no doubt that the Hawks should select him. He gives them everything they need, better defense, better scoring, better efficiency. He is exactly the guy that the Hawks need. There is no question in my mind that Avi Toppin is the best fit for the Atlanta Hawks to pick with their first draft selection. However, if he is not there, there is an alternative. If Avi Toppin was not available, the Hawks should pick Cole Anthony. Now, I know this is controversial. They already have a point guard, of course, one of the best point guards in the league, Trey Young. However, Cole Anthony could easily be moved to shooting guard. He is a fantastic passer, and I think a two point guard system or a two dominant ball handler system can still work very well in the NBA. I mean, you look at Russell Westbrook and James Harden, or you look at Russell Westbrook when he had KD, it still works. KD and Clay and Curry. I mean, the, the two dominant ball handler system still works. And I think Cole Anthony could definitely fit that for the Hawks. And they struggle with a backup point guard. If Cole Anthony doesn't flourish in the shooting guard position, just move him to backup point guard because the Hawks certainly need one of those. Cole Anthony is one of the best scorers in this draft. He is one of the best three point shooters. And that's really something the Hawks need. They just need a guy who can consistently get buckets, and Cole Anthony is definitely the answer to that problem. Anthony is quick, athletic, strong, and a fantastic shot. He is truly a leader on the court, and I think he's a guy who can really understand his role. If they move him to shooting guard, he'll be okay with that, and he'll learn the role, and he'll flourish with it. Now, of course, you know, shooting guard is a position that can still be very efficient, just like James Harden. I mean, he's basically the team point guard himself however they do have a regular point guard i really think cole anthony could be a fantastic fit for the hawks and i think he's someone that people will overlook however the hawks shouldn't and again another guy that i think could transfer to the shooting guard position lamello ball this is a guy that i have really flip-flopped on my opinion about him recently however i do think he is a good fit for the hawks I think they really just need the flash, they need the speed, they need the ball handling, they need the scoring, and LaMelo Ball brings that. He is 6'7". You can easily move him to shooting guard or even small forward. I mean, he is a big player, and there is no reason he should stay at the point guard position standing 6'7". He's a phenomenal passer, he gets buckets, he gets rebounds, I mean, he's just a well-rounded player. Obviously, his shooting percentage is very bad. However, he was on the worst team. I mean, he was asked to do a ton for that team. I think if he steps up and he is in a less dominant role, he's a, he's a guy who takes less shots but gets better looks, I think his shooting percentage will surely go up. This is a guy that I really think has improved. He's really matured in the past couple of years, and I actually do think he would be a great fit for the Hawks. 
He's already used to being called a Hawk. He played for the Illaware Hawks. This is a guy that I think would make a really good fit if Avi Toppin and Cole Anthony were off the board already. In round two, the Hawks definitely need a backup point guard. It's something they struggled with all season. They simply need a leader at the point guard position, and if he's there, I believe Trey Jones is that leader. Another Trey for the Hawks offense. He averaged 16 points a game, 4 rebounds, 6 assists on 42% shooting. Now the Hawks' second pick right now is pick 53, which is very low, but Trey Jones is projected, I think, as exactly the 53rd best prospect by ESPN. So if he is there, hopefully he is, I really think he would be a great fit for the Hawks. He's a guy that stayed in college a whole extra year just because... He didn't think he'd get a high enough draft selection, but he's coming out this year, and I really think he would be a great fit for the Hawks. Those 6.4 assists is really what I look at. I mean, the Hawks need some organization on their second team. I mean, their bench was just so god-awful last year. Even when they've had the two rookies in with Cam Reddish and DeAndre Hunter coming off the bench, it was just not pretty. They need a leader. It was just unorganized. It was everybody playing iso ball. It was ugly. It was... It was not the game of basketball. It's just a bunch of one-on-ones and people running up and down the court scrambled. Trey Jones is the best leader in all of college basketball. I really think his offense isn't even what you look at. You look at his presence. You look at his leadership. And that is why I think the Hawks desperately need a guy like Trey Jones. Another option at backup point guard, Ashton Haggins. Now, this is a guy who I think is projected as like the 64th prospect by ESPN, which means he might not get drafted. But if the Hawks are smart and Trey Jones isn't there, he's who we need. Six, 6.4 assists per game, 40% shooting, 11 points per game. And this is a guy who played with limited minutes. Kentucky kind of used a two-point guard system, but their other point guard didn't even average two assists. So this is the guy that I think the Hawks really need if Trey Jones is not on that board. He's a phenomenal passer, and the Hawks really just need some better passing so that way they can get more open looks on their second team. Again, this is a guy who's a floor general. He is a leader. He will help shape that second unit. I mean, even with the leadership of veteran Vince Carter last year, the Hawks bench still struggled so much without Trey Young. They really need to find a, a good backup point guard. Now, I really like Brandon Goodwin, their current backup point guard. However, he didn't show the same leadership that they needed. He would really do better as a shooting guard with a more dominant point guard. And if both Ashton Haggins and Trey Jones are off the board, I think the next best option is John Petty Jr. Now this guy is not a point guard, he's a small forward, but he does shoot 44% from three, which is another thing the Hawks struggle with, is just scoring as a whole. They really just need some scoring. And he's a guy who I think fits into a role very well, but he can also step up for his team when it's needed. I think if they go with a guy like Cole Anthony or Lamelo Ball, and you know maybe he comes off the bench for them, then I think John Petty Jr. would be a fantastic pick in the second round. His three-point percentage is really what you look at. I mean, you look at 14 points a game, 6.6 .6 rebounds. Those are fine stats, really. But he has one of the best three-point percentages in all of college basketball right now. And that's something the Hawks really need. I think John Petty Jr. is a great scorer. He all in all, the Hawks need a scorer and they need a backup point guard. They only have two picks currently in this draft, so this video is pretty short. Let me know what you think comment down below what you disagree on, who you think the Hawks should actually pick.